Now you know it and I know it, Realme UI 6, in fact, even Oxygen OS 15 are based on the same Color OS 15 code base. But when I tested out Oxygen OS 15, OnePlus was definitely doing a few original things. For example, there's the open canvas. In fact, there are some slight visual elements which are different from Color OS 15 as well. But the question in my mind was, does Realme UI 6 have anything different from Color OS 15? Well, we'll find that out in this detailed review of Realme UI 6. I'm Ashad. You're watching Track and Tech English, your destination for detailed, incisive gadget reviews. Now, before I start talking about all the changes in Realme UI 6, I'm sure that you guys want to know when are you getting Realme UI 6? Well, here's a handy chart of the timeline for you to see. Pause here, check for yourself when your phone is getting Realme UI 6 and you can get excited for it. The first thing that we noticed with Realme UI 6 is definitely in the animations, the same parallel animations technology that's used for Oxygen OS 15 and Color OS 15 has also been used in Realme UI 6, which means that Realme UI 6 is also fast, smooth and fluid. So when you're opening and closing apps, you can see fast and smooth animations with absolutely no stutter. It is also true for when you're opening and closing widgets. Now, why am I emphasizing on widgets is because in iOS, you can see that the widgets actually do stutter compared to Realme UI 6 or even Oxygen OS 15 for that matter. In fact, we also stress tested the animations and opened and closed 20 apps back to back with absolutely no lag, no stutter whatsoever. Now, Realme has also adopted the charging animation used by OnePlus and Oppo, which is kind of nice. And you know those really nice flux themes? Of course, this is a visual change but the animations with flux themes are damn nice too basically you can set the flux theme to start from the aod so aod to lock screen to home screen when that animation happens it looks damn nice of course hyper os did it first but now with realme ui 6 oxygen os 15 and color os 15 you can experience the same kind of cool animations all the flux theme designs also look nice but the only problem is that with the text you still cannot add custom text i don't see a reason why there should be an option to do it but Ashad, we've seen all of this already is there anything unique about the animations with realme ui well there's one tiny thing instead of the eight fingerprint animation options that you get with color os and oxygen os you've got nine on realme and the extra one is called ethereal now if you think our content is ethereal don't forget to hit that subscribe button Help us reach a million soon. Now let's take a look at the visual changes. And the visual changes are not too different from Color OS 15 either. For example, if you look at the quick settings panel, Oxygen OS 15 has a pill-shaped design as opposed to the same design on Color OS 15 and Realme UI 6. And when you look at the home screen customization, it's largely similar on all three, with all three of them having same fonts, but with different names. Realme also has three extra AOD styles, which you can try out. So that's probably the only visual extras that we saw with Realme UI 6. You also have similar icon packs, similar widgets. In fact, there's even a demo widget that is similar on Realme UI 6 compared to Color OS 15. Now, even the system apps like the Photos app, the Files app, the Calculator, the Recorder, all of them have similar designs on all the three operating systems. At least in Oxygen OS 15, there's this Easter egg where in the calculator, if you hit one plus, you get never settled. I mean, it's just a pointless trivia, but the point is that Oxygen OS 15 tries to be slightly different, where Realme UI 6 is practically the same as Color OS 15. Nothing different. Now, with respect to visual changes, you know, Realme UI 6 doesn't feel too different from Color OS 15. And with respect to features as well, it's not too different to Color OS 15. You know, features like sharing files between iPhone and Realme using the same O Plus Connect app. Well, OnePlus and Oppo are also using the same and that's available on Realme as well. We also have support for live activities and they work exactly like Color OS 15 and Oxygen OS 15. Basically, if you have more than one app, two or three apps running in the live activities, then you can have like cards coming down. It does look very good, but not something we've not seen before. You know, let me tell you a little secret. All these three operating systems have multi-screen connectivity features. Basically features like content sync, screen mirroring, app relay, all of that. Fun fact, it was created by OnePlus and it's called OnePlus Synergy. It's just that Realme and Oppo use the HateApp account and OnePlus uses OnePlus's account, which is basically probably a wrapper over HateApp. And just like OnePlus Synergy, which was created by OnePlus's software team, even Open Canvas, which is unique to Oxygen OS, was actually created by OnePlus's software team. And now I was wondering whether Realme has anything unique like this. Well, they do have one extra anti-theft feature, but doesn't feel like a huge thing. Honestly, it basically has an anti-theft alarm which alerts the user when the SIM is removed, which is kind of nice. And you also have an option where you have to verify your identity if you want to switch off, which is good because then that's also an anti-theft feature. There are Realme specific anti-theft features, but of course, Android has their own as well. Talking about which, there are Android 15 specific features that are there in Realme UI 6. For example, you get Gemini integration. Then of course, there is circle to search as well. So overall, if you look at it, Realme UI 6's unique feature list is not as long as Oxygen OS. Now, 
in the new crop of smartphones, AI features are of course important. But Realme OS 6 is slightly light on the AI features, even when you compare it to Color OS 15 or Oxygen OS 15. However, there are some things that are unique to Realme UI. For example, there's this AI Smart Loop. Basically, what it does is that it lets you drag and drop content seamlessly between apps, whether it's screenshots, text, images, videos, or even files. You just need to touch, hold, and drag the content to either side of the screen. There are some gaming-specific AI modes that Realme has also incorporated. For example, there's AI Super Resolution, where in a game like Genshin Impact, the resolution can be bumped up to 1.5K with upscaling. Then, of course, you've got frame interpolation feature like Gaming Super Frame, which basically inserts frame in between frames to make 60 FPS look like 120 FPS. It works in games like Genshin and BGMI, but the game support is limited. That's about it though. Rest of the AI features are all very similar to Color OS 15. There's AI screen recognition, which can summarize content from web pages, which I found to be handy. Then there's AI speak, which does exactly what it sounds like, reads out web page content for you. Then we have plenty of camera specific AI features. For example, there's this AI snap mode, which lets you capture fast moving objects with clarity intact, which is very nice. And then there's AI studio, which is basically available in Color OS 15 as well. Basically what it does is that you can actually uh, generate your own images by uploading your own photos as well and there are some credits uh, in it where you can only use it for a certain amount of time and after that you'll have to spend more on credits then we have photo editing features like ai eraser ai unblur all of which are pretty self-explanatory at what they do but they also work really well remember how the ai magic eraser has reflection eraser now on color os 15 and oxygen os 15 well that's not there on realme ui 6 come on realme since you're using the code base might as well have used this feature because i genuinely like it then there's ai ultra clarity mode which sort of upscales pixels and tries to make it look sharper, but we found it to be a little too artificial, so we didn't use it much. But then there is AI sketch to image, which basically lets you draw anywhere in an image and it'll recreate that for you. But that's also limited. Unlike Galaxy AI, you can only use it 10 times in a day. After that, it won't let you use it. Another AI specific feature that we kind of appreciated on ColorOS 15 and Oxygen OS 15 is writing tools. And that's not available in Realme UI 6. Maybe it'll come later in an update, but currently it's not there. So if you are a Realme user, this is definitely a solid update. Realme UI 6 is a huge upgrade, I would consider, over Realme UI 5. But a lot of what it is, is basically ColorOS 15. With Oxygen OS 15, I didn't feel that. I felt that it had its own synergy, it had its own cohesiveness. With Realme UI, I feel like they can do some more unique things. Probably they will in the future, but right now, this is what it is. And it's not too surprising either, considering Realme started off as a proper sub-brand of Oppo, and it's only now that it's become an independent identity. Anyway, what are your thoughts on Realme UI 6? Did you like it, did you not like it? Let me know in the comments section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe.